today on the joy of editing we're going to get a first look at the latest update for topaz photo ai version 3.6 now with super focus version 2 and adjust lighting version 2. stay tuned Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, we are looking at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 3.6. Now, you might want to pause the video and look at the new features of uh, this latest update for Photo AI. Today, we'll get a look at Super Focus version 2, and I'll compare it with version 1. We'll do some pixel peeping at the end of this video. We'll also get a quick look at the latest version of Adjust Lighting Adjust Lighting version 2, which now has shadow and highlight adjustment sliders as well as color correction. Let's start out by looking at Super Focus version 2. Now, Super Focus still is in beta, and you're going to find it right here at the top right-hand side of the Photo AI interface. So click right here, and you'll note version. Right now, it's on Super Focus version 2. If you click the drop-down, you can also choose Super Focus version 1 if you'd like. But we're going to use Super Focus version 2. And as I said, at the end of this video, we'll do a comparison between version 1 and version 2 and see the differences. By the way, if you want to purchase Topaz Photo AI or any Topaz products, I'll have affiliate links in the description below this video. And by the way, right now, Topaz Gigapixel 8 is on sale right now. You can save $15 off. Now, I believe the sale ends on April 9th, 2025. You may want to take advantage of that. When you use my affiliate links, I make a small commission, and this helps to support my channel. So thank you all for using my link. And by the way, try some free trials out if you've never tried Topaz products yet. All right, then let's look at Super Focus version 2. Now, right now, Focus Boost is set for none. And if you hover over this information circle, it says choose a creative boost setting. This will be baked into your image during processing. Use on very blurry images. Focus Boost corrects images that are missing detail by downscaling your image. Then it upscales it back to the original size. For this image, I've tried all these different settings here, and I found that none work the best. So I'm not using Focus Boost. Now, you also have a strength slider here. And also for selection, you have your choice here. Right now, it's selected to do the entire image. If you click in the drop down, I'm just going to click on subject. And now, if I hover over subject, you can see it selected the subject. Now, it's missing some areas in the subject. Now, if I click this drop down, you'll note we have custom. If I click on custom, I should be able to add the rest of the middle gentleman's body in, but it's not letting me. I don't know if this is a bug or if they'll fix this in a later update. But we can fix that later. So for now, we're just going to leave this on subject. And I'll show you how we can fix that. And we also have a string slider here. I'm leaving it at the default setting of 50. Even after we run Super Focus, we can always change this strength later. So it's no big deal. So I've selected the subject. I'm on Super Focus 2. Focus Boost is set to none. So I'm not adding any boost. And note that I have this square right here. This is a preview window we could go ahead and click right here. Now this on my computer takes anywhere between 30 to 35 seconds. I have a Mac Studio with an M2 Ultra chip in it. I'll put my information up on the screen for you. Now this will vary between computer to computer. If you have an older computer, this may not even work for you. But as you can see, that is in real time. It has rendered out this preview window. And if you want to, you can make up to three different preview boxes per image. Now, that just lets you know what kind of a result you're going to get. So it helps you to test out whether you need to use none, minor, or major boost. And in this case, none is going to do the job. I'm happy with the result I'm getting in the preview window. So I'm going to go ahead and click render. But before I do that, please note, if you have an older computer and you're thinking you can't use Topaz Photo AI Super Focus, you can because you can purchase cloud credits. Now, they do cost money, but since version 2 is so much faster than version 1, you'll use less cloud credits. This will only take you one cloud credit, and it'll take 28 seconds to process. But I'm not going to use a cloud credit. I'm just going to click render. I'm not going to make you wait the entire time for this to render, but when I'm done here in Photo AI, I'm going to go to Photoshop, and then we will compare the time differences between version 1 and version 2. 
So you want to stick around to the end of this video, and we will also do some comparisons between version one and version two. We'll go ahead and zoom in and do some pixel peeping. All right, it's rendered out. Now, if you hold down your space bar, you can see here's a before and here's an after. I'm not going to zoom in here. We'll wait till we get to Photoshop. But here's another thing. This is a image of some people, right? So we should do face recovery. So we're going to click the plus right here for add enhancements and click on recover faces. We have these three faces selected. And so now we've recovered those faces. Now, if you look at the faces, I'll shut off face recovery. Here's before, and I'll turn it back on, and here is after. Again, we're going to pixel peep in Photoshop. The other thing we want to look at is, let's click on Add Enhancement, and we want to look at Adjust Lighting, because you're going to note we have now a highlight slider and a shadow slider. I believe we had the exposure slider before, but we also have this color correction. I'm just going to check this on. Right now, color correction is off. If you click right here, now we've turned the color correction on. I'll be honest with you, I don't really use adjust lighting in Photo AI. It's not in my workflow. I have a Photoshop workflow, so this is not part of it. But for some people, they really enjoy this. So you want to check out adjust lighting. But now we can go ahead and adjust shadows, highlights. So if I wanted to darken my shadows, I could drag this slider to the left so I can enrich those shadows a little bit. Or if I want to open them up, I can move this to the right and open up the shadows. And, this, and if you double click the circle, it'll reset itself. And the same for highlights. You can open up those highlights. Or if your highlights are too light, drag it to the left and reduce the amount of highlights you're getting. To reset the highlights, just double click on the circle. For my Photoshop test, I went ahead and pulled this back to like, I think it was around like minus 0.21, just to enrich the shadows a little bit. But remember, you now have color correction. You can toggle that on or leave it off, and you can adjust your highlight shadows as well as the exposure of the image. If adjust lighting is part of your editing workflow, you're going to welcome the new highlight and shadow adjustments as well as having the ability to shut color correction off or on. And now finally, let's come back and click on Super Focus. We still have this strength slider, so I could drag this slider to the right and give this more sharpening, or I could drag it to the left and give it less sharpening or double click it and set it back to the default setting of 50. And you'll also note for subject, it's missing part of this gentleman's outfit right here, right? So what we can do is click edit selection, and then I could just hover over different areas and give it a click and add, like say his hand, that part of his sweater, this part of his shirt and pants, and it's also got his shoes. And now we could go back to controls and now all that area will be in focus. It's got to go ahead and update itself a little bit. So there you go. So let me hold down my space bar. Here's before and here is after. And by the way, in case you're wondering where I got this image, this is just one of the sample images that come with Topaz Photo AI. And this image is 4,000 by 2711 pixels. It's the original size. I have not upscaled it. And now here we are inside of Photoshop. I want to do some pixel peeping. Right now you're seeing the original image. I'll compare it to version one and then version two. And then I will give you the times it took for each one of those versions. What we're seeing right now is the original image without any adjust lighting or any super focus on it. And I'll turn on the layer above it. This was super focus version one with adjust lighting version two applied as well as face recovery generation two. The render time on my computer was four minutes and 35 seconds. So let me shut off this layer. Here's the original and here is super focus version one. And now let's compare that to super focus version two. So let me turn on this layer. This is super focus version two, adjust lighting version two, face recovery generation two. The render time was one minute and 27 seconds. It's basically 3.4 times faster than version one. So that's pretty impressive in my opinion. I went ahead and zoomed way in so we could do some pixel peeping. Now this is super focus version two. Let's compare it to version one. This is version one. Again, this is version two. The clothes look better on version two in my opinion. The hair up here looks a little funny with version two as compared to version one. And again, I think the clothes look better. And then if you look at this lady's 
finger right here. This is version two. Compare that to version one. See this little bit of a artifact or whatever this is. When we go to version two, that is gone. So I think that's an improvement. Now, when we look at the lower portions of the body, this is version two. It's done a nice job on the pants and on the shoes down here. Now, let's compare that to version one. Now, if I look at this gentleman's pants, this texture doesn't look quite right as compared to version two. Version two did a better job there. And this gentleman's shoes look a little funky down in here as compared to version two. And if we look along the edge of this gentleman's pants, you can see I did not do a really good job at selecting the subject. So note to myself, when making selections, do a better job at refining the edges. Make sure you got them right. This is version two. Let's compare it to version one one more time. And as you can see, version one is nowhere near as good as version two. So I think they've done a great job with this version two. They're moving in the right direction. And remember, Super Focus is still in beta. Well, there it is. Here's the original image. This is Super Focus 1 with Adjust Lighting Version 2, Face Recovery Generation 2. It took 4 minutes and 35 seconds versus Super Focus Version 2 with Adjust Lighting Version 2, Face Recovery Generation 2. Render time, 1 minute and 27 seconds, roughly 3.4 times faster than Version 1. I do hope you enjoyed this first look at Topaz Photo AI's latest update, Version 3.6. Now with Super Focus version 2 and Adjust Lighting version 2. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then... Happy editing.